order to show the degree measure of a pi of an 11 pi over 4 angle, first we need to understand something about the unit circle. So here's the unit circle. This intersects the x-axis at 1. This intersects the y-axis at 1. Here at negative 1. And here at negative 1. Now, this is 0 degrees and this is 90 degrees but we're in radians so this is just equivalently zero radians um, when you get up here the top half is divided up well the top half is pi radians so where this would be 180 degrees it's pi in radians so halfway between 0 and pi is half of pi. So 90 degrees is pi over 2. Now, pi over 4 is halfway between 0 and pi over 2. So this is pi over 4. It's halfway around the circle between 0 and pi over 2. And it just also happens to be 45 degrees. So you can split this whole circle up into pi over 4s. You just go right in the middle, bisect each 90 degree angle that's made by the axes. So this is pi over 4. When I get to here, this is 2 pi over 4's, and that simplifies to pi over 2. When I get to here, I've gone 1, 2, 3 pi over 4's. When I get to here, That's 1, 2, 3, 4 pi over 4's, but that simplifies to pi. So you can keep going around this circle. Um, if I go from 0 over to this one, I have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi over 4 when I get here. When I get to, oh, I've already used that color. When I get to here, I've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pi over 4. But that simplifies to 3 pi over 2, which we know is the angle here, or 270 degrees if you want. And then I keep going around another pi over 4. Here's a new color. So if I start at 0 and go around until I get to this one, I have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi over 4's. And when I get all the way back to the beginning, start here and go all the way around until I'm back to the beginning, well, I have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight pi over four. But that simplifies to two pi. Now, I haven't reached eleven pi over four yet. I need to keep on going. So, um, I haven't used yellow. And I'll have to make it thicker so you can see it. This time I'm just going to count out 
to 11 pi over 4. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I land right here. This is 11 pi over 4. If I was going to graph the angle in brown, thick marker, it would be this angle that starts on the x-axis and finishes on this dashed line. So since each of these is a 45, this is 45, 90, 135. Just keep on going. We got to um, we're at 360 degrees here, and we need to add 45 and 45 and another 45. So 360, getting around once, plus 45 to get here plus 45 to get to the y-axis, that gets us to here, plus one more 45, and that's going to get us to the brown angle, this terminal side. So 360 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45, this angle turns out to be 495 degrees. Um, there's a formula if you'd rather. If this is 11 pi over 4, if you just multiply by 180 over pi, because 180 degrees is pi, so that's like multiplying by 1, what you end up with is the pi's cancel and you get whatever 11 times 180 over 4 is, and my guess is it's going to be 495. Sure enough. So there's several different ways to work this, but it's helpful to split the circle up and then just count how many pi over 4s you've gone until you get to 11 of them.